The Belmont Stakes is next weekend, which means this week is very busy for a pair of sisters on Long Island who make their living by creating the silks or the uniforms that the jockeys wear. Every racer in America knows for the highest quality, they have to go to the Betsy Ross of racing. CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer has a story from Nassau County. When I come down here every morning, I don't feel like I'm going to work. I love what I do, and I'm grateful every day. For the past 48 years, sisters Antoinette and Anna Marie have become the premier seamstresses for racing silks worn by jockeys. Did you tell him you made the last three Triple Crown winners over the past 38 years? It all started with Seattle Slough. Seattle Slough's what put me on the map. Seattle SLU won the Triple Crown back in 1977. Since then, these sisters have handmade nearly every racing silk all the way to the last Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh. My eyesight isn't as great as it used to be. I tie a knot like this so I don't have to thread the needle. Dee -dee. They're called racing silks, but it's not really silk anymore. Now it's more of a lightweight lycra. Some take up to three days to create. If I'm stressed out, I'll get behind my, my sewing machine and I'll just like, I chill out. Do you see these designs and these colors in your sleep? You know, there's a song called It's Raining Men. I told my sister, I said, I feel like it's raining jockey silks. The pricing hasn't changed much since they started in the 70s. Yeah, Three to $400 will get you a full set. They're not trying to become millionaires. They're just making what they love and sharing it. You can make this one. Oh, oh. <laughs> so gratifying. I feel a lot of pressure here because, I mean, this, yeah. this is a very important Yeah, you better pray here. that this button don't fall off. The next time you watch a race and you see the bright colors flash by, Remember, they were probably made by these two experts, just a few furlongs from Belmont Park. From Garden City, Long Island, Steve Overmeyer, CBS 2 News. I love that they work in this tiny little space, too, and that home is so nice. Getting it done. Definitely. That's going to do it.